Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Afro Gardener. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a garden tour. Let's get into it. Um, like I said, I'm going to be giving you guys um, a garden tour, but I just want to prepare you. It's not a whole lot going on, but I did want to kind of show you guys what is going on. So whenever it starts to, um, to get bigger and bloom and blossom, then you can see the changes between um, uh, month to month throughout this season and into the summertime but we're gonna start with this bed over here in this bed I have some um, ragged jack kale that has gone to seed and what gone to seed means is just it's gone through its life cycle from seed to seedling um, to mature plant and then back to seed and so um, that's what I have here and also some cabbage i only have two cabbages that are like head cabbage that have not gone to seed so i'm just hoping that they can withstand some of these warmer temperatures that we have and be able to actually produce a cabbage head <laughs> um also just over here i just have some little um these are just like little radishes early scarlet radishes they're kind of small but they produce really quickly and they form their um their actual radish bulbs at the bottom pretty fast also some um swiss chard here some uh carrots and some calendula sprinkled in here a little bit but the one that takes the show in this particular bed is the purple tendril peas they're so pretty look at these they have these beautiful flowers and some of them are starting to produce. Um, I planted these a couple weeks ago. I think I talked about it in one of my other videos, but they're doing really, really good. Um, this is a plant that's gone to seed, but it is covered in aphids. The aphids have come out full force. It's like they did not hold back at all. And so they're coming out really, really strong. So I'm gonna be planting some nasturtium, which is really good for um, battling um, aphids. So I'm definitely gonna put some of those out. Um, also, in this bed, this is late Nagasaki Chinese cabbage. I am so excited about this. Like, look at it. And look at this one. Look how lush. It's so pretty. This is some um, coneflower echinacea. This is another Nagasaki. And then here we just have some lettuce. I've been doing taste tests with the lettuce because after it gets kind of warm um it starts to have like this really nasty rancid flavor so i've been taste testing these and the one in the other bed just to make sure that they're still um taste pretty good and it's still good it's good it's good now, also in this bed, I'm growing something I've never grown before, which is called um, Mizuna. Now, if I had to describe what Mizuna is, this right here. If I had to describe what it tastes like, it really tastes like um, a mild mustard green. Um, I grew a variety of mustard greens. Well, I grew a variety of mustard greens called Japanese um, purple, purple giant, Japanese purple giant mustard greens. I think that's what they're called. And um, I've been growing them for a couple years now. And that's kind of what these taste like, the Mizuna. But it's like a milder flavor. It's like the um, spiciness isn't as um, potent as it is with the mature leaves of the um, Japanese mustards. But it has a lot of flavor. It has some really good flavor in it. Mm. Now... In this bed, I also have some more calendula and some parsley. Now, I don't really use a whole lot of parsley, but I grow, I try to grow a bit of it because um, of the swallowtails, they lay their eggs in it. And so I try to keep some parsley in the garden so they have a place where they can um, lay their eggs. Now, in this bed, we have quite a few Nero de Toscanas. Now, um, I've used these quite a bit, as you can tell, like from the bottom where I've harvested. Because when you're harvesting greens, you want to harvest from the outer leaves. I've harvested a bunch, but they're still going strong. Um, have some Swiss chard here. And I have a bunch of those Nero's in here. 
a bunch of beets. Now, the beets are not um, mature. Um, the bulbs at the bottom are kind of still small, so I'm going to leave some of those in here. And just over time, I'm just going to start to pull them out. Also, I have right here some early purple um, broccoli, which hopefully we'll be putting out some broccoli here in a little while. And just some more um, lettuces. Let me taste this. And it still tastes pretty good. You know, we can go over to this bed. It doesn't have a lot, whole lot in it, but we do have a teeny tiny, um, what is this? Ground cherry, some carrots, a lowly sunflower, some more carrots over here, and a uh, pepper. I'm not sure what pepper this is. Um, it came out of an unmarked cup that I have some things in, and so I just place it here, and then also some radishes that are starting to form. I will be filling this bed up. Um, I will probably put some more, at least two more peppers in here and also some companion plants. Now companion planting is um, whenever you plant things, um, plant things with other things for a good um, combination that complement each other. So I'm gonna take a look at some things that would be a good complement with the um, carrots and the radishes and um, figure out what else I'm gonna put in this bed. Now over here, we have some um, ragged jack kale that has not gone to seed and my other cabbage that I was talking about. And then we also have this giant uh, Japanese mustard green that has already went to seed. And also just some little things that were left in here that I have not cleaned out yet. Some more lettuce, asparagus, and some beans. In this bed, we have some calendula and a little garden friend, this pretty little ladybug. Ladybugs are really good for um, helping with pests and aphids. And um, these calendula are actually, these are actually ready to be picked. And when you pick them, you just lift up like this, take the whole head with it. And I'm gonna be harvesting some here soon. But there's not a whole lot going on in this bed. Just the um, chamomile and um, this uh, cabbage that's already gone to seed, some Nero de Toscana, and a Swiss chard. I cleared this bed out yesterday to prepare it to go ahead and start planting in it. And um, I'm just gonna be pushing to get some of that done. Same thing in this bed, some more um, chamomile, a um, early purple broccoli. And for the majority of it, it is empty with some carrots and some chives over here. Now, like I said, it is pretty much empty, but it won't be come a couple of weeks, in like a week or two. Now, this bed in particular, this uh, wood was actually on the side of the house. However, I didn't think about the cars coming in and out, and so I've had to move it, and I moved it over here where we have some oregano. I wish y'all could smell this. This smells amazing. It smells so good. It's oregano here and mint. And um, I'm trying to contain the mint to end the bed because it's just spreading like wildfire. And so I'm trying to contain it inside this bed. And I'll bring you guys to over here. I started some corn in some containers in some um, uh, jugs and it started to sprout. And so um, I went ahead and I've planted it here and then I started some seeds over here some seed corn and then this is some other corn that I started and a sunflower now this area is the new garden space uh, and I plan on doing some cow peas over here some um, lima beans and some other things that will be good to grow in these spaces like I said it's not a whole lot going on but it is a little bit going on. Here's a rock garden planted, got some things coming up. Uh, my hyacinth has come and went, and um, these lilies have started to come up, and I got a couple of sunflowers in there. But um, I have an update with the chicken coop. It is finally finished, and it looks great. There are the chickies right here. I'll turn you guys around. Here are the chickies living the life. 
they're doing really really well um i'm actually about to put them in for the night um what before i go in and start cooking dinner they've been doing really great they've gotten out a couple of times i'm not sure where they got out at but um there's like a couple of spaces that my husband has to seal off to keep them from getting out but i think honestly i think that they just flew out because they can fly so we're trying to decide if we're going to clip their wings or not that's actually what's on the um agenda here soon is trying to figure out if we're going to do that or not but um they're doing really well this is what the um coop looks like here's the door um i'll go ahead and open it here's the door oh, hold on. and this is the inside now there are no um nesting boxes in there yet um we've actually just don't have them set up just just yet but we'll be doing that here soon these are the nesting boxes though these will be broken up into um separate nesting boxes they'll be sectioned off and so um yeah like these guys have gotten out and i'm gonna have to put them up here in just a minute but yeah this is what it looks like we are using the tarp we're going to cut this off um here and here so it just doesn't look all tattered but this is actually temporary because this will be filled in with wood but he just placed this here so um he could go ahead and um so he can go ahead and get done that's what's going on in the garden right now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always remember to like share and subscribe to my channel i love you guys and i'll talk to you later bye